uh, the tone because of the presence of the papillae. Right. Once again, there's a solid core of skeletal muscle, the intrinsic and ext extrinsic muscles of the tongue, and we notice that they run in a number of different directions. Okay. Use this one. All right. So there you see just um, the skeletal muscle there running in all different directions. And there we see the overlying um, mucosa the on the surface of the on the surface of the tongue right here. Okay. And these are our papillae. Okay. So on the tongue we're going to find various types of papillae. Fungiform, filiform, circumvalid, foliate papillae. Okay. This is the anterior two-thirds of the tongue that we're looking at here. Alright? And these are some good examples of what are the fungiform papillae. Okay? So on this one, and what we're seeing right here at the sides, I'm going to show them better, are the taste buds. Okay? So this is going on to the undersurface of the tongue. So there's a central core of skeletal muscle. Um, the muscle fibers running in all different directions as diagnostic of the tongue. And the overlying mucosa here will have uh, stratified squamous epithelium and with the lamina propria underlying this. And it's going to be thrown up into what are called the papillae, of which there are some major types of papillae. And we're seeing here the fungiform. Okay? Now these fungiform papillae are literally sort of coming off from above the surface. They're rising. They're coming from above. Whereas the circumvallate papillae, hopefully we'll find them, is there's a valus or a depression around the tongue. Now can I have one or two of your slides of the anterior two-thirds of the tongue? Because what they give mainly is posterior third. Um, Courtney, I need a couple of slides of the anterior two-thirds of the tongue.